everybody. I hope you're off to a happy new year. My apologies for not getting this video out sooner. Hold on a sec. I've got an itch. Hold it. Uh, oh, that's what's causing the itch. Okay. Well, <clears throat> okay. Well, anyway, um, I hope you're all uh, having a happy new year. I apologize for not getting the video out sooner. With the holidays and things, family, um, just a lot of running around, uh, as you can see, and gradually getting better. Um, my shoulder with all the rest and, and stuff is Not starting to improve. I've been doing a little bit of uh, powder coating and some reloading. Oh, doggone it, I got another itch. Oh, what the heck? Oh, oh, yeah, you just never know what you're going to find in these slings. <laughs> um, so it's not very exciting but what can a person do with one arm um hopefully soon i will um have a lot more mobility but i still haven't even seen a doctor Work, workers comp is not the fastest so uh, i don't know when i'm going to be able to get some shooting done if i do i'll probably have to shoot left-handed which i can do that uh for pistol but for a rifle, I can't take any recoil to the shoulder or I've got a good chance of damaging it again. But have, I hope this year is very prosperous and safe for everybody. And I wish everybody the best on their endeavors. And I hope this video doesn't bore you too much. I know. Surprise! I have a package. This came from Tin Man. And, dude, you shouldn't have spent so much money on this. Uh, let's see what's in the package. If I can cut this open with one hand. I just want to keep getting away from me. A little bit of elbow grease here. around here problem with being one armed I can use my camera in my right hand I just don't have a lot of mobility with the left arm Whoa, that's some good packing there some strong tape hey and for the great unveiling, the knife sharp. <sighs> oh, awesome packaging. I have my favorite little gopher pillows. Oh. Let's see. Okay, 3.8 or 3.585, Tin Man, thank you so much. Uh, my um, sizing die I have for uh, 357s and 38s is 0.357. I got it years ago, back before I knew a whole lot about this whole process. And, hoo hoo, aren't those some pretty bullets? Tin Man, you do some great powder coating here. Well, I think that's it. Good. Still spent way too much money on shipping. Let me uh, see what the note says. It says, these are the Lee 358-140 semi-wad cutter. I put 3.4 grains of bullseye behind them for 38 special, and they shot very well. I ran them through the sizing die that is in this box. My dial cal calipers measure these at 0.3585, so I hope yours say the same. Get better soon. Have a Merry Christmas. My friend, thank you so much for that. Um... I really wish you hadn't spent so much money and you could have taken these out of the uh, out of the case and 
probably put them in a padded envelope. But these are some beautiful looking bullets. And I will shoot those well. Uh, once again, thank you very much. It's one of the best Christmas presents I've had. And that's probably why I like this guy so much. He's just always there for everybody. Thanks, Tin Man. Now, I'm going to try and see what these beautiful bullets, these 358 140 semi wide cutters um, that Tin Man sent, are going to test out. And you see, I've filed my flat. These almost look like a truncated cone and not so much a semi wad cutter, but hey, they're pretty looking bullet. And we're going to load some up, see how they shoot here when we do the meetup. Okay, I'll get back to you in a sec and let you know what the. Okay, I just did the hardness testing for the Tin Man bullets. And look at that 17.2 BHN. And that's by going with the .055 dimple, and I tested it twice. As you can see there, both dimples are measured the same. So we've got 17.2s that we're going to load into these 38 cases, and we'll see how they shoot out. Thanks, Tin Man. Man, you're awesome, dude. Okay, there's 50 38 specials loaded with the 358-140 semi-wad cutter. The Tin Man. Thanks again, Tin Man, for sending these to me. We'll see how they shoot when we all get together. So I've been keeping busy the last couple of weeks. I've um, cleaned off a bunch of my 452 200 round flats. Um, these are from a Lee Mold. I cast these years ago, and I covered them in A-locks. And... With the a locks it's a pretty messy process, but since I've gotten into powder coating, I did these. Uh, I'm calling, th these are a mix of 3 to 1 raspberry um, and the hammered white. I'm just calling it a raspberry smoothie. And then I've tried to make a root beer, but I didn't quite succeed. Um, some people call them goat pellets, some people call them light fudge. Some people call them other things that I won't repeat here. <clears throat> but what I've done is I've taken a jar, some paint thinner, and I've got some more. These are a um, 185 grain uh, truncated cone, and I'm trying to get the lube off of them. But I think my paint thinner's about um, contaminated. So, like I said, I've been staying busy. I've got more powder coating to do. With all of these, I'm going to give those a couple of different colors. I've got a couple hundred there. Then I got into reloading a bunch, uh, some 38s. These are with unique and 4.2 grains. And same, about 4.2 grains of unique with these. Then I got some 357s. These are 6.6 .6 grains of unique. I figured since I had the unique out, I would just keep doing that. These, America, 6.6 .6 grains of unique. Now, the white didn't color quite as good, but they'll be fine. Because even where the thin spots are, uh, it's still good coverage. It's just kind of a clear over the top of that. So, if you can see, if I can get this to focus. Yeah, and a lot of these scratches are from when I was trying to use the tweezers to stand these up and put them into my uh, little tray. Now the red, they came out pretty good. Actually, this is the raspberry, and that covered pretty good. Um, the blue wasn't quite as good. Again, uh, any scratch, let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Um, little scratches here and there. Now, those I did with the tweezers. What I found, um, and I'll probably keep doing that, is put a little bit of powder on my gloves. Then I can reach in and pull them out of the basket and put them in the tray. But I'm pretty much done. These are the, just about the last of my powder coating ones. Um, about out of 357 
cases now and definitely out of magnum primers so i might have to load up some more 38s getting ready for a little meet up and shoot up here a couple of weeks um i'd like to take my <clears throat> my ruger gp100 with me and let some of the guys that's going to be there to meet up play around with that again i'm not supposed to be doing any shooting or any exertion with my right arm so all of this as you can see i converted this uh my lyman american 8 um over to left-handed operation and that's what i've been doing this with so let me get back to you when i get to some of the more of those four five twos loaded up let me get back to you when i get some more of those four five twos these powder coated yeah there's my gloves so getting ready to do a little powder coating okay so on the powder coating i tried a three to one ratio of hammered white and gentian blue that was these right here then i tried a two to one and that's these so there's really not much difference just maybe a little bit more speckling in the two to one but either way that's what i got it's sort of like a um, like a hammered uh steel or uh, you know i mean some kind of a like a old steel i guess and so now i've got old steel and i've got a load of old lead Maybe it's just me, but I really like this old lead look. This is the two parts black, one part, uh, excuse me, two parts gloss black and one part gloss white. And it turns out this speckled look. And most of the people I know that have played around with this really like the old lead. So I'm going to do the remainder of those four five twos in old lead happy new year everyone okay i added another one and a half tablespoons of black we got a little bit darker than what the other old lead was let me show you a comparison here really quick um somebody said that the lighter one was more like cookies and cream and that the darker one was more like old lead oops it's hard to judge when doing it through the camera so anyway uh fun with uh playing with colors that uh, that's my uh 452 um 200 round flat lee bullets and i think i had a little over 400 of them to start with and i've cleaned them all off and i've powder coated them all and now i'm all out of bullets until i get those 185s done but uh i don't know when that's going to be i've also got another project i've got a thumbler's tumbler and i'm trying to put it back together and uh, i got parts coming for it and um that'll be my new tumbler as you can see there's no lid and these rollers are all rusty i inherited this from my dad and he played around with nitric acid and things like that and don't, don't ask it's it's a long story but this is kind of an old one and I just got new rollers coming for it and uh, a lid and uh, some belts and things like that. But yeah, that's going to be my new uh, wet tumbler. Anyway, uh, I'll leave you now, but um, happy new year. Okay, my last video, I forgot to uh, include this card that I'd gotten from Uncle Jim. Thank you, Uncle Jim, and uh, belated Merry Christmas. Sorry I didn't include this in the last one.